Lack of rainfall over several seasons is the most immediate uh, and most visible cause of the current humanitarian crisis in the Horn of Africa. It's really only one of several factors uh, that have led to the crisis. Other factors are longer term. They include uh, a very large population that depends on rain-fed agriculture and uh, pastoralism for their livelihoods and sustenance. These uh, rural populations tend to be quite poor and they've been locked in poverty for quite a long time. Environmental degradation, uh, soil degradation, water degradation, and uh, rapid population growth have compounded the problem. The climate is changing, which is uh, changing the frequency of extreme events such as the current drought in ways that can only partially be anticipated. I would like to highlight another factor that's contributed. Since the early 1990s, there's been a serious neglect in agricultural development uh, in that region and most of south of the Sahara Desert. It's been driven more by shifts in ideology than any real evidence uh, among some of the key international development organizations. But as a result, rural communities across Africa have been trapped in worse and worse poverty and have become more and more vulnerable to the impacts of shocks such as the current drought and they've become more and more dependent on uh, external humanitarian assistance. As a result, we have a, a cycle of uh, accelerating poverty, vulnerability, and dependence that can best be described as a larger and larger slice of a smaller and smaller pie having to go to short-term crisis relief instead of longer-term development that could have uh, prevented the crisis. For example, northern Kenya, southern Ethiopia, and uh, Somalia have uh, similar uh, severity of drought, but the humanitarian crisis is much more severe. The loss of livelihood and life uh, is greater in Somalia, largely because the government is weaker. There are fewer policies that are effective at uh, mitigating the effects of the drought. At the most fundamental level, the urgent need is to reverse the decline in uh, agricultural development and there are a number of promising initiatives that are reinvesting in agriculture in sub-Saharan Africa. I believe that uh, if they're directed well and if they're sustained they'll help uh, reverse the current vulnerability and uh, chronic poverty that uh, contributes to vulnerability to climate shocks.